Spring feels like a gentle awakening of our natural world. Nature breaks the silence that softly spread through the winter months. The flowers, birds and breezes. Mother Earth and her beautiful creatures are beginning to bloom. And nature begins to look like a painting sprinkled with bright colors. As the seasons change, it reminds me that we mirror the changes in our natural world. And I feel like I can finally take a deep breath, a breath I have been longing for all winter. Spending time outside and just feeling the warmth of the sun on your face and the earth beneath your feet, feeling our connection to the natural world. We too are experiencing an awakening in our own body and spirit. Nature doesn't only exist around us, but we are a part of it. We are intrinsically connected. California has been one of our favorite places to celebrate the return of spring, and we are so happy to share some of these moments with you. And we hope that they bring you a feeling of peace and a connection to nature and inspiration to go outside and spend some time in the sun, some time in the fresh air, and some time celebrating the return of spring. There's something about being out in nature in the beginning of spring that is so rejuvenating. I find when I'm out walking in nature that I get musical ideas that inspire me and then create this soundtrack to the new life of the spring and of the new year. In this time out in nature, we were hiking high in the hills overlooking the ocean. And I think you get the sense of almost like feeling like you're one of the birds perched in the trees, high up, looking out over the beautiful world. It's kind of one of our favorite feelings because the earth is warm and full of wonderful flower smells, but the ocean breeze is cool. High from the high tops of the coastal hills. We are really high up right now, and it's, it's just the neatest feeling. The sun is just starting to dip mm -hmm. just a tiny bit mm -hmm. down. And so I said before we left, I said, I just need sunshine. And I felt as soon as I felt the sunshine, it's just exactly what I needed. It so get out healing. and get your vitamin D. Yes. It's springtime and it's just a great time to be outside celebrating with nature. Yeah, take a hike, take a walk, <laughs> Woo. breathe some fresh air. And remember, I think when you get outside in nature, Mother Nature reminds you, I think when you follow the seasons, you see her changing. Yes. And I think we mirror those that change in nature. So by getting out and and sort of seeing what nature is doing helps remind us of sort of our natural mm -hmm. rhythm that we're also experiencing. It's like, uh, you know, through the winter you're kind of hibernating and you're, you're sort of quiet. resting, but now it's like a new beginning. This is, this is the time of brand new, fresh energy 
yeah, and we were, I was going to say one more thing that, you know, we, we were pretty sleepy and tired, but, but you get outside and you actually can get reinvigorated and have a, a source of energy that you didn't know you had. <laughs> Nature is calling and we got to go. Winter is over. Spring <laughs> we, is here. We got to get outside, guys. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. I think each moment spent in nature is a precious gift. And it's so easy to take for granted these moments. And I think in the busyness of our lives, they can seem like small moments. We kind of rush past them and we don't stop for a minute, pause and take a breath and realize this moment is truly a gift and these moments that can seem small and insignificant where you're staring out at the vast blue ocean you're looking at a beautiful flower you're walking on the hilltop feeling the ocean breeze these are the moments that i think we're all going to look back and say i wish i could go and spend more time outside, more time in nature, just being. I think in these quiet moments is when we can kind of touch that innermost part of ourself and hear our inner voice that's whispering to us to slow down and just be and be grateful for this beauty in front of us. As the sun went down, the beautiful blues of evening came out and it was just magical. I love the energy of the sunrise in the morning. I got to watch it with a seagull as I walked down the pier. It was just so invigorating. Springtime, morning sunrises, and the sound of the ocean all come together as a chorus of peace and happiness. And I was just so glad to be out in it as the day began and excited for another day out in nature. Hi guys. Hey, we're here at the Malibu Pier and we had a poppy update. So um, we're going to go do some magic here and show you some of the things that are happening to Poppy, but to get her brakes done or engine fixed, so you're going to love it. Yeah, she's getting all spiffed up. Yeah, check out this beautiful day. Well, we know a few of you have been asking about her, so we wanted to send you, ah, <laughs> to send you a Poppy update. Exactly. Poppy's getting all fixed so she can climb those big mountains all through the fall and the autumn, which we can't yeah. wait to take you guys on. Yeah, so we'll show you a few picture video, actually a few videos here, and let you know what's going on. All right, so coming in here, we're gonna start the engine. Charlie, how are you looking up there? Good. Okay. And this is the OG engine, of course. Um, the throttle was stuck. I think we just got it unstuck, just at least to park it here. So, Charlie, if it races like crazy, shut it off uh, after we start it. Okay, so three, two, one. Bus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here is the before video. So we're gonna remove the splash pan. We always do. That's where the heater mounts up under there. Uh, and then we're also gonna redo the throttle cable, the shift bushings. Actually, this one doesn't have them because it's an automatic. But that's what we usually do. And interesting, <laughs> um, address all that stuff. So this bus, look at that, originally orange, now red. Uh, we usually redo all the brakes, including the e-brake cables. And just quick observations starting off here. So uh, gotta love us some duct tape. Um, hey, it works, 
fine. Uh, but we'll fix stuff like that, just make it right, because that's what we do. And we've got this old crusty steering coupler. We're gonna address that, of course. We'll adjust the steering box, fill it with grease, and of course, get the whole steering system up to snuff. Uh, visual inspection right now on the steering system. We've got, you know, cracked, torn boots. Um, no torn stuff, no torn boots right here, here, and here, but these are OG, so um, <clears throat> we usually just replace all this 50 year old stuff, unless it is a known low mileage bus, then we may leave it alone if that's all in good shape. Um, let's see, coming around here, we've got torn ball joint boot up there. Uh, this boot is torn at the very bottom. And then torn boot, still got some grease in there though, so I like grease. Uh, that's better than uh, Mr. No Grease up here. I got as dry as a bone. Um, <clears throat> and then we've got uh, another no grease, uh, dry as a bone unit. So uh, we'll check these ball joints, uh, but likely end up replacing those as well. Just visual inspection of the front beam uh, and the bus. Uh, we've got this undercoating stuff. Undercoating is great, especially factory, undercoat, factory undercoating. Uh, this beam from a quick visual inspection, we don't have any rust or rot, which matches with the rest of the bus. You can usually start collecting clues uh, that'll tell you, hey, this bus has some significant rust problems or not. And so far, so good here. Uh, and I'll even go as far as to say, so far, so great. <laughs> if you look here and here, I mean, this is a solid bus. It is hard to find buses that have zero rust in these spots, uh, for example. And of course, floors looking great. Looking great. Um, this is a good, good bus. Uh, we always grease the front beam. Um, and then it looks like the brakes have been done sometime in the recent past, which is fantastic. We got new uh, calipers, looks like new rotors behind there, and even newly done brake hoses. I just can't help fixing stuff as I see it. <laughs> uh, minor thing, but that's just the way I like to roll. Shocks also don't look like they have too much uh, wear and tear on them. Relatively new, uh, I would guess as well. So looking pretty good. Steering damper for sure, need that. All right, so since we're looking pretty good on the brakes and we're just not looking good on our backing plate, we're actually gonna try to save you guys some money and uh, straighten this guy up. It doesn't have a material effect on a whole lot, but if water gets into the drum and then you park it, the pads can actually freeze onto the drum and we don't want that. So we're gonna see what we can do here with the backing plate without having to replace it. All right, check this out. Straight up hammered and worked this guy. Our gap is almost perfect. Look at that. That ended up great. great. Isn't that it's fantastic? Great. I'm kind of amazed. Usually once metal has been uh messed up like that it's uh no going back but we're good there all right our bearings are great we'll just add a little bit of grease in there and uh then we'll do the spring plate job we'll be good we headed up into the hills it was beautiful the sun was shining it was warm and we just loved these times out in nature where you feel like the old is replaced with the new and you can kind of breathe again and feel at peace again. These, these hills are covered in green. I've never seen the hills of California this green. And the ocean breeze. And the, oh, and the lighting. The sun is so glowy and warm and oh I wish we could just send it all to you guys in this moment. We could feel it and smell it and, and just I don't know. It's so amazing. So anyway, sending it to you. Mwah. Nature has its own heartbeat that really resonates with us. It inspires us and moves us and guides us. I feel like the music that we create is an echo of nature. It just accentuates what is already there in front of us. And it's a way to sort of transport it into places when we can't be out in nature so we can still feel its peace and warmth. There's so much 
land preserved here. It's amazing. Like we've been walking around the last two days and just all of this that would have been prime development and it's just preserved and we're, you know, everyone can enjoy nature and nature can be here. So that's awesome. I know you'll see so much open space in California. You think, oh, why? I don't know why that's Well, you're just thankful that. it's not developed. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and so they've, they've really done such a good job of pr preserving we got back in the car and headed down the road to one more beautiful spot to watch the golden sunset here in California. We love filming these videos so that we can share them with you guys and we, we love looking back at them too to remember how good we felt when we were out in nature and we hope that you feel some of that too. The hills turn golden and it just gave you such a sense of I think these times out in nature are some of the most valuable times that we spend. It's a moment where you're just with each other and with the world and just really living. Everybody. We just want to take a minute and wish you a really happy spring. We hope wherever you are, you're finding some rejuvenating moments, some energizing moments, some time outside, some time in your garden, time with flowers, and, and just we hope inside that you're feeling some new energy, fresh energy uh, in your life. And we want to just send you guys a lot of love. Uh, and um, we want to thank you for spending this time in one of our favorite places, California in spring. We just love it. So yeah. mm, love we you love guys. you. We want to thank you for being with us. Thank you.